Have you wanted to experiment with different operating systems? I'll walk you through how to create a virtual machine using Proxmox VE, which is perfect for testing new operating systems in a virtual environment. To start, make sure your Proxmox server is powered on and access the web interface by entering the IP address of your Proxmox server in your browser. Before a new VM, make sure you have the ISO image for the operating system you'd like to experiment with. In this example, I'll be setting up a Windows 10 virtual machine. For this setup, I'll use the latest Windows 10 ISO, which I downloaded from Microsoft's website. I also have a separate video that shows you how to download the Windows 10 ISO. Check that out if you need help. Once you have the Windows 10 ISO, go to the Proxmox web interface. In the interface, select the local storage, then navigate to the ISO images and click upload. From here, choose the Windows 10 ISO file you saved, likely in your downloads folder, and hit upload. The upload time will depend on your network and hardware specifications. Once the upload finishes, you'll see a task OK window, which you can close. Now to create the VM. Right click on your data center node and select create VM. Name the VM something like Windows 10. This is also where you can choose the node for the VM, set the VM ID and manage resource pools. For simplicity, leave these settings at their default values and click next. Under the OS section, select the ISO image we just uploaded. In the guest OS drop down, choose Windows and set the version to 10 forward slash 2016 forward slash 2019. Leave the system settings as default and in the disk section, increase the storage size for your VM. I'll be increasing mine to 64 gigabytes, but feel free to adjust based on your needs. Make sure you've selected the correct storage drive for your virtual machine, whether it's the local drive or a different one. Next, configure the CPU. I usually allocate two cores for virtual machines and for memory, I'll assign 4096 megabytes, also known as four gigabytes. In the network section, leave the settings as default unless you're using multiple NICs, in which choose the one you want. Finally, confirm all your settings, ensure start after created is checked, and click finish. On the left side of the screen, you'll see the new Windows 10 virtual machine listed. Select it, then click the console to open a virtual display of the virtual machine. It might take a minute to start, but once it does, you'll proceed with installing Windows just like you would on a physical machine, following the standard setup prompts. After that, you successfully create a virtual machine using Proxmox VE for testing Windows 10.